we are finally in the spring months of the last year so essentially that means we have to adjust the way that we look after our natural hair because the weather conditions and the humidity etc has changed so today i want to go through seven simple things that you need to consider or you need to implement just to get your hair ready prepped and well looked after for the spring slash summer weather hi i'm serena welcome to my channel i love talking about all things self-care so today we're focusing on physical self-care and looking specifically at hair care. You ready? Let's go. So number one, switching to uh, lighter creams, i.e. leave-in conditioners and leave-in creams and moisturizers. So during the winter months, most of us with natural hair will probably lean more towards protective styles and we may well use heavier creams to help hold those styles and holding the moisture a little bit longer because of the harsher weather. But as spring and summer comes, I know for me as well, it definitely feels like you want to kind of let your hair down a little bit more and let it out a bit more, especially as the weather is warmer. So you might want to switch to a little bit of a lighter cream if you are wearing your curls out and if you are wearing your hair out. So it doesn't weigh it down so much. It doesn't feel as full and heavy. Um, and that's just going to help you to have a nice style, still have some um, protection and still have something that's locking in the moisture but something that's not weighing down the curls so much if you're not sure what to look for um i would say what you already use as a heavy cream maybe check that brand to see if they do a lighter cream and um, because usually most brands do a wide range of products or you could just try out a few different lighter creams and then see which one suits you but think about switching up the cream so that the curls are not as heavy and weighed down <laughs> during the spring and summer months Number two is probably time to get a trim. Again, as I said before, during the winter months, we tend to pack our hair away a little bit more. You don't really wear your hair out so much when it's really cold and freezing. Um, and so that means you may have a few brittle ends, you may have a few split ends, and it's just time to tidy those up get rid of them, get your hair looking nice and sharp from top to bottom. So book a trim or do it yourself, whichever one you do. But now at the turn of a season, I think it's always a good time to have a trim. So take this as your sign that you need to have a trim. <laughs> Number three, be prepared. So even though I said it's spring, and it is spring, we're in April at the moment, um, early April, well, kind of mid-April now. We've all heard of April showers. I've definitely experienced April showers over the past week, let alone two weeks. And um, I would even say that this week I've experienced like four seasons. I wouldn't even say within a day, within an hour, I literally went out and it was freezing and I was getting battered by the wind. Then a few minutes later, it was sunny and all the clouds had cleared. Then a few minutes later, it started raining. So number four is be prepared, <laughs> be prepared, be prepared. Springtime is not just about light, warm weather, it's about the changing weather. So that is a bit of wind and a bit of rain and a bit of things, but it's a little bit warmer. So be prepared, bring your, um, your silk scarf or bonnet if you need it, tuck that in your bag or bring a head wrap, definitely bring an umbrella. I know when I go out, I have an umbrella, bring some hairbands. So if you had decided to leave the house because it was sunny, and you had your hair out, bring a few hair bands because if the rain starts to chuck it down, you wanna just tuck your hair away, put your hood on or put whatever on and know that your hair is protected. So be prepared because spring is also sometimes unpredictable. So definitely be prepared with different um, tools to protect your hair should the weather change. And if you're living in the UK, especially London like me, the weather will change. <laughs> Number four, rotate your shampoos. So during winter, we use more product, I think, because it's colder, so you do more protective styles. You want styles that are gonna stay held for longer. You're tucking your hair away, so you wanna seal in that moisture. So there's a lot more buildup, but you might not be using um, clarifying shampoos as much in the winter. So maybe this might be a good time as you're changing, as you're switching up the creams, looking for lighter things, doing different styles this might be a really good time to um, switch up and go between your moisturizing shampoo, your cleansing shampoo, and a clarifying shampoo as well. So don't be afraid to switch up, don't be afraid to look for different things because you're kind of changing what you're doing a little bit. So this might be a good time to switch and change up. Number five, get those treatments going. Now during winter months, again, our focus is on maintaining and retaining moisture. 
and keeping the hair protected and packed away because you have cold wind, you might have snow, you might have hail, lots of things in winter. So you don't really want your hair out in that. Um, but that also means you may not be doing as many treatments um, as you would normally do. And actually, I do think balance is good. You don't have to do treatments all the time. I really am a believer in just looking at the condition of your hair um, and going by that instead of just doing treatments because everybody's telling you to do them. But if you haven't done one in a while, um, it's sometimes good to maybe do a, a protein treatment or a hot oil treatment or, you know, something like that. That You could go to the hairdressers and maybe ask them to recommend one or just feel the condition of your hair. If it's feeling a bit dry, a bit brittle, a bit flat, then it could be time for a little boost of protein or, you know, some hot oil or something else or, or even a clay clarifying treatment. So have a look at your hair and definitely go by that or ask a hairdresser if you need advice. But this is always a good time of the year to start maybe kickstart or restart your treatments because you're going to probably be wearing your hair out a bit more, going to be a bit more creative with the styles as the spring and summer months come in. So it's time to get the treatments going again. Number six, prepare for the frizz. <laughs> prepare for the frizz, people. It's going to come. When the weather is warmer and there's more humidity in the air, you're going to get a bit of frizz. And I know you could have a perfect hairstyle and you go out and then it's like, boing. <laughs> That's the nature of our beautiful hair, right? So you could think about investing in some anti-frizz um, products and just doing styles that sort of keep the hair a bit neater and accommodate frizz coming up a bit better. But I will say sometimes you're just going to have to embrace it as part of the natural hair journey, as part of the characteristics of our hair. But there are definitely things that you can do to prepare for that. As I said, anti-frizz products maybe the styles that you choose to do maybe sometimes working with head wraps and things and you know head um, head bands and stuff like that to be a bit more creative so that you are prepared for any eventuality of that wonderful friend of ours called frizz <laughs> and number seven switch it up i think when the weather gets warmer like i said it's it, i feel like oh let me do a little bit more with my hair because in winter i know i definitely keep my hair packed away so spring and summer is a really good time to try new styles to switch it up to you know get some inspiration go on pinterest put a board together have a look at some different hairstyle accounts and have fun with it. I think the warm weather is a great time to have fun and hair is such a wonderful way to express yourself. It is a part of your identity and your culture, but it's also a great form of expression and creativity. So definitely use those spring and summer months to switch it up and try different hairstyles and have fun with it. So there you are, seven ways for you to be prepared for the spring and summer weather in terms of your natural hair care. If you've got any more tips or advice or any things that you do, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.